All right, y'all. Good morning. Good morning. It's uh, it's Monday morning, man. Uh, it's eight o'clock. We just left the house. Uh, it rained a little bit. It looks like not much, but you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, Toby's behind me in the other truck. Uh, we got we're gonna do the HOA today. We got probably right around eight fifty, nine hundred dollars, something like that. We should be done around two. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I gotta go out here to that job where we had the skid steer at and I pushed that tree over and I cut them back woods area. I gotta take the, uh, I gotta go over there and do that yard. Uh, I got the bagger with me. Uh, they want me to cut off one of the bushes um, that, uh, it's a holly bush. It's gonna grow way out over their sidewalk. So they just want me to whack it off. Uh, and I told him, I said, it's going to be ugly. So, so uh, I appreciate the comments on the trailer, and I think I see what uh, that aftermarket part kind of is that goes on that cylinder down, down there. Uh, and like I was showing in the video yesterday, it would have to be a, something that mounts there and comes up and over, you know, like this. So... I don't, I don't, I think that the part that, that, uh, somebody sent me, not the part, but the image or the link that somebody sent me, it was, it was saying, uh, that, well, it wasn't saying, it was showing that it bolted to those two spots and then it didn't really show an image of how it bolts through the top, but I didn't have time to really look. I, I didn't check out none of the comments until this morning when I was getting ready to go to work. So, yeah. One of the comments on the video from uh, yesterday when I was talking about the $4,500 this week that we're gonna be uh, grossing or about, you know, it's not exact, you know, it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less, uh, but that's in four days too. And about five hours a day six hours a day so we'll say that that's 25 hours and not that i'm paying by the hour or work by the hour but i have to i have to break it down when i'm doing the videos because everybody is so used to getting paid by the day or by the hour or, or you know by the week or whatever you know uh so just a couple of examples so the guy comes in the comments and I, i'm i'm not mad or saying anything so he's coming in the comments and he's saying, well, only 4,500 with, with, with an employee and, and all that overhead expenses, it just doesn't sound sustainable. But then he turns right around in the very next sentence and says, uh, I must be wrong though, because you are living week in and week out. Right. So that, that, that says a mouthful right there. And let me, let me break a few things down real quick before I get started on this yard. So, and it's, I mean, it comes up all the time. Uh, it's all about, well, where you live to make sure I get this right. So it's all about where you live too and what does it cost you to live, okay? That directly uh, goes into how much profit you're gonna be able to make and how much work you have to do to sustain such life, right? So my expenses on my my living expenses in my life are not a lot uh well when you comparable for instance if you got a new guy out here a new owner business owner just like me right and he's been say he's been doing this for 10 years right good at what he does he makes good money blah 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 but on the other end of his life his expenses it costs him more to, to live. For instance, he might have, his house payment might be, you know, $2,000 a month, where mine's $825 a month, because I bought mine at the right time. Uh, he might have a seven or $800, a thousand dollar a month truck payment. I don't, mine's 430, I mean, 530. Uh, he might have multiple mower payments, multiple trailer payments. I don't pay for none of that. All that stuff's paid for. So, uh, if you got a boss man that is, that is not smart with his money and the business's money and how they 
uh, run the business, then you're gonna it's it's gonna trickle down to the employee eventually. Eventually, see, I'm on top of all my bills, and I can give y'all some numbers just right off the top. So, say, you know, uh, you know, you got, and, and another thing too is. Some people rent, and their rent is a lot more than my mortgage payment. So while they're spending eighteen hundred dollars a month or more, that's in my area. You ain't even gonna get a house for that. Some people have to pay, uh, you know, uh, a higher mortgage than me. Some people are is not don't make sound financial moves at the when the time is right, and all of that means that you have to make more money than me, and you're not gonna be able to live any better than me. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, that's what it is. So at the end of the day, let me break it down real quick. So at the end of the day here, uh, and this is just a few little numbers that I jotted down. Uh, employee, you pick $1,000, right? Out of that $4,500, you pick $1,000 for the employee, right? So now we're at $3,500. Out of that $3,500, you figure... Uh, We'll say it's probably not. It, oh, I know it's not quite that much. It's probably more like we'll say about four hundred in fuel, right? So now we're at thirty-one hundred. Okay, and this is for a week. It's for a week. So to drive this truck every day, just to drive it, now I ain't counting fuel. To drive this truck, it costs me. Seventeen dollars a day. Let's make that to to uh, include wear and tear and all that. Let's make that twenty-five dollars a day. So there's eight more dollars a day than what it's actually costing me, and that does not include fuel. So that's twenty-five. That's twenty-five dollars a day, which in a, a week's time is a bucket up is is well. Yeah, 125 a week. So, so 4,500 minus a thousand for labor minus another 400 for fuel and then minus uh. $17, 125 a week for the truck, for this truck. And that's to make the truck payment. That ain't got nothing to do with fuel. That's just the truck payment. Now, the other truck's paid for, but I still have to calculate getting my money back. And that really, when we get done with this week, the way the math is falling, when we get done with this week, I've been done got my money back for that truck. Uh, the ten thousand dollars or so that truck is already generated about fourteen thousand dollars i don't want to lose my train of thought but i got customers you know looking out the window and shit uh so forty five hundred and then uh minus fourteen hundred with labor and fuel and then uh, uh 125 a week for the truck okay now uh the lawnmower, my brand new lawnmower that I got, that lawnmower, uh, what is it? The payment's two ten, so that's seven dollars a day to run that lawnmower. Now we've already covered the fuel, and the oil and all that stuff is kind of, you know, I'm not even going to count that stuff. Uh, so seven dollars a day, seven times four. It's 280, but says that the 4500 is only is only four days of work, okay? Because I have to include a rain day or a skid steer day or something, right? So uh, I'm trying to be a little more organized this year than I was last year. So seven dollars a day for the mower. That's two. Uh, that's uh, seven seven dollars a day sounds cheap, don't it? It is cheap. That's what I'm saying. It ain't costing as much as it's costing some other people. You know, because when I buy things and stuff, I put enough money down and 
and uh, am aware of, of what the payment's going to be so I can so it'll balance out and I don't have to kill myself out here of course if I have a bunch of mowers and brand new equipment that ain't paid for and I ain't smart with my money and and I'm making knucklehead moves in the evening time I'm not working every day or uh, we get a bunch of rain or something happens then you know it, it it's not detrimental to me the business is based on uh, well what I'm able to do of course and what uh, I'm able to come up with uh, based on the labor and the help and, and everything that I have any equipment that I have so You got to keep all that in context $4,500 ain't nothing for uh, $4,500 is not enough for coca-cola company to run for a week. We know that But $4,500 a day, I mean $4,500 a week is uh, Four days is and there's three more days there. So you're talking about 65 70 percent of the week we're at 4500 that's usually the time that uh it ain't like 4500 dollars, and that's all i'll make period that comes from the thinking process of somebody that works for the man because they're capped out at 4500 well see to me 4500 is the minimum because on thursday we'll hit that and we may hit more than that if you know a lot of one phone call could change everything so if my truck it costs 17 dollars a day uh to drive this truck we'll round that up because you got tires and brakes and stuff uh we'll round that up to 25 dollars a day so four days you're at a, a hundred bucks we'll say 110 i mean we but we're, we're we're over projecting everything always i always do that because that that gives you a little bit of a slush fund when stuff goes wrong it doesn't really matter because the funds that go into the bank are the funds that go into the bank but for video purposes i'm going to over i'm going to over exaggerate the money it costs you know a little bit because there's going to be something i'm not thinking about that's going to cost me back so if we overdo if we over uh project then uh it makes more sense in the end so the truck is 17 60 a day i rounded that to 25 uh the uh the building is and there's no interest on the building i only owe about nine thousand on it the, the building it's seven dollars and thirty cents a day for that building. Yeah. Uh, and the new mower is seven dollars a day. My payment is two ten on the new mower, and that's interest free. All of that because I put I didn't go in there and, and put a thousand dollars down and got and get eighteen thousand dollar lawnmower. No, I put eighty five hundred dollars down on a on a, a eighteen thousand dollar lawnmower. Well, Roy, I don't remember you doing that. Yeah, you do. So I got rid of that skag, and that is the same as cash. Eighty-five hundred dollars is what they gave me for it on the on the down payment. So it ain't like I tried to keep the skag and go buy another mower like a lot of lawn people might do. They would have a have a good mower like the skag, and the skag wasn't a bad mower. I just didn't like it. Uh, but they would have a mower like the skag, and they would try to they would try to keep it and buy a brand new mower. And you know, I didn't want to do that. I want to pay something off. Yeah. Before people make a judgment call on what someone makes, uh, and, and, and you know, from doing YouTube videos, of the you know, from you know, uh, what their employ employer or employee or being self employed or whatever makes, you got to look at what it's costing them to live. It doesn't cost me as much to live as it does a lot of other people, not everybody, but a lot of other people because of the way that I manage my finances. If you're not good with finances, you're, your life as an entrepreneur is gonna be hard working, hard working all the time, you know, all the time. That's gonna be uh, your downfall. Uh, I mean, it is, but it costs you more. You're, you're, and maybe the guy that 
that made the comment, and I don't know him or nothing, maybe the guy that made the comment, he might be living, you know, somewhere up on the north side of Atlanta or somewhere, and his house payment might be, you know, $2,500 a month or $2,000 a month. You know, uh, his, you know, he might have mower payments where he's having to pay $350, $400 a month for a mower. He's having to pay $800 truck payment. He's having to pay, you know, uh, for a, a shop, a commercial site somewhere where he's paying four grand a month. See, you don't have to, you know, it's hard to put it in context right now because I'm thinking about this customer right here, but. For me to go rent a building like that, a lot of landscapers, I would, I would be curious to know, and I don't know if any big, I don't, I don't think none of the big landscapers watch my channel, uh, but if you, you guys know of any bigger landscapers uh, that uh, have enough business to justify them renting space somewhere for their equipment and all, uh, you know, a commercial site somewhere, and you see it all the time, I would like to know about what you, what do y'all think the average rent is on a commercial site uh, to store your equipment and to run your business out of that has internet, that has water, power, and all that. Even a storage facility is going to be five or six hundred dollars a month, and you ain't got any real, you know. I mean, it's a storage facility. Uh, my wife runs a storage facility. And they ran out 20 by 40 units, $1,100 a month. And that's a 20 by 40 plus tax. And it's got the big bay doors and everything. But it, but they got one power outlet in there. That's it. No water. None of that. No internet. None of that. None of that. And no spray foam ceiling or none of that. So, and that's a storage place. Imagine if you went to, uh, in my area, and in, like I said, in, it, it depends on where you're at too. In my area, to rent a facility shop area, like the one that I built at my house, you're at probably $4,500 a month. And that is rent, that's not counting the power. So, you know, it could probably easily cost you uh, around 4,800, in between 4,000 and 5,000 because you gotta pay for the power too. And the water's nothing, so. Um, you get, in perspective, if I had, a, if I had a, a rent payment due on a commercial building I'm leasing or whatever to run my business out of, I got to make more money than the 4,500, see? But at the end of the day, that's a bad investment to me when you compare it to what I'm doing. And I know there's reasons why everybody does everything and it's all valid, but I'm saying that if I were to go out, instead of building the building at my house and go out and rent space somewhere at what we'll conservatively say $3,000 a month, well, I gotta, I, I, I'm gonna, then that $4,500 I'm gonna make this week gross that, that that's not that's not that good you know and on top of all that it's it, it's uh it's a necessary business arrangement but it's not the smartest business arrangement financially for this kind of business unless you just want to work all the time i don't work 12 hours a day y'all this is part-time chuck out here uh, if full-time work comes, then then we'll do it. But I do work about seven days a week. I do a little something every single day. So while some of the guys in cool, some of the guys like, for instance, my buddy Randall, him and his crew, they work they work late, right? But that affords them the weekends off and and the ability to be able to take trips and stuff like that. And that's a lifestyle, right? Nothing wrong with that, you know, work hard, play hard. But see, I'm at a point to where I don't really have to spend a lot, so I don't have to earn a lot. And what I do earn, for me, for the way my bills are and the way, it, what it costs me, and I'm talking about just in life in general, I'm not talking about just the business. 
I mean, if you're renting a $5,000 a month shop, then you're going to have to do more work than me, even though the accommodations aren't much better if you're the owner. Because now, if you rent a shop somewhere, that means you've got to go to the shop to do things like I did yesterday, you know, working on the trailer lights and, uh, you know, uh, working on Y'all see all the stuff that I fixed in my shop. If I had to go over to a shop to do that, that would cost me too, because that would cost me fuel, tenor, energy, time, main thing, time. And around me, you're not going to find a, a commercial site uh, that's less than five grand a month. You're just not. I would have to drive, uh, you know, a pretty, unless I went to the uh, storage facility. But the storage facility has a lot of rules and regulations that you can't, you can't just do whatever you want to do. And you don't have big power. I got big power in my shop where I can run a welder and plasma cutter. So what you make is relative to what you need to make is relative to what you, what it requires for you to keep going. Your house payment. How much is your house payment? You know, well, if you got the house within the last couple of years, your house payment is going to be more than mine for sure. See, I've been living in the same place and it's nothing fancy and it, it, you know it's nothing you know but it's mine right i don't i don't i don't you know i, I mean uh my house payment is under 900 a month not much you know it's not no fancy fancy place or nothing but it's within my means for sure so if just think if my house payment was 2100 dollars a month well then that 4500 dollars i'm gonna make this week don't sound all that great or if I had rent to pay on a on a shop building for the business, that doesn't sound like that much that much money to make. On 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 you know on somebody else's stat sheet, forty five hundred dollars ain't shit, right? And that's why they come and come in the comments and say, I don't see how you're doing it on forty five hundred. That that's because you're not managing your money on the other end like I am. That's what that is. You're not able to fix the things that I fix to save uh, on mechanic stuff. You're not able to pull up in the shop and fix stuff and that require that will require two weeks downtime that's gonna cost you. I don't have none of that. I don't market at all. I don't have none of that. I, I market nothing. I don't market at all. How much money does a typical business spend on marketing in a year? Whatever that number is, and I'm sure it's different for everybody. I don't, I, I don't, I don't. Uh, I'll take that money and invest it in something else. I don't know, maybe a mower payment or something. You know, I got out of all the lawn mowers you see that I have, I got one payment, two hundred ten dollars a month, <laughs> seven dollars a day. So, when guys come at me talking about well, that ain't that much money, it might not be that much money to you, but you're not as sassy with the with the with the profits as I am either, probably. Or your cost of living is a lot higher than mine. Not saying this. And and then on top of all that, you got guys that own businesses like this that got vices. Oh yeah. They want to go to the club. They want to go uh you know uh blow money on booze and women and all that. See I I I've grown out of all that stuff. You know uh, so when you're coming at somebody about well that ain't no money man I don't see how you make it on that well you gotta look a little deeper than just what's on the surface I can make it really good on $4,500 in 4 days because I work 5, 6 and 7 because I will work Friday, Saturday and Sunday too and if it's not actually earning money it's actually say it's going to be in, in a point of saving the business money some kind of way saving the business time some kind of way and it's not sucking up all my time either you know yesterday uh, i'm hanging around the house i went and cut that one property uh got them a hundred dollars come back to the house and getting things ready for today fixing the trailer lights blah 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 so we can say well man you work on sunday saturdays and everything well, yeah but i'm at home in the shop working on my equipment you know and stuff is that is, is that is that i guess that's work right i don't know 
But when guys come at me talking about $4,500, ain't, ain't, you know, I don't see how you do that. I don't see how that's a sustainable. Well, I'm showing you that it's very sustainable. It's very. I'm doing it. I mean, you know, some weeks we make more, some weeks we make less. You know? But I'm not spending it either way. I'm not spending it. It's not taking all, all that money that, for me to run. So, of course, to some people, $4,500 in a week uh, would be a lot of money. To other people, $4,500 a week, that's their house payment and truck payment. <laughs> I mean, you know, in relative terms. But I got to get on the shard, y'all. I ain't got time to kick it, kick it, kick it. But I hope that explains a little bit about how I break things down. Not that I'm right or nothing, but uh, I think if you're in this, if you see, you see the business that I run, you see the equipment that I own, and you see all that, and uh, if we can mow grass, I'm talking about mowing grass, if we can mow grass and, and do uh, $4,500 in four or five days, then I'm good because the two or three days that we're not working or that uh, it's not, I'm not counting into that would be days I'd be on the skid steer or stuff like that where I'm really enhancing that $4,500 up to a lot more. That's why I did not include the, 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 the skid steer payment in on what I was telling y'all. The skid steer payment is $732 a month. I pay $740 a month. That's what I pay, just to pay a little extra, just, you know, just whatever. Make it nice and neat, even number. But I'll make that $700-something in the three days that I don't have labor out here or, uh, or in the three days that we're doing skid steer jobs that we're not doing mowing. So... Uh, this is just for the lawn care, the $4,500. Well, yeah, Ray, you still got to pay for the skid steer. I know. I took uh, $2,100, uh, what, two weeks ago or last week, whenever it was, that I got paid on this job, and I made three skid steer payments. I don't owe another skid steer payment until September 7th. So, a one-day job, three months, no skid steer payment. So now all the money that I make with the skid steer and all summer long, I don't have to, I'll apply it to a payment in October, November, December, January. And so by the time I roll around to November, the skid steer will be paid up until May of, of the following year, of next year. So then I don't have that $730 a month payment coming out in the wintertime. And that's how I stay ahead of things. And everybody doesn't do that. I thought everybody did, but they don't. People look at the business and, and they're they're like they're they're in awe of how do you live on blah blah blah. Well, you need to look at your finances and how you how you spend your money, and and you might be able to see ways like I used to. You might be able to see ways that you can save money here and there. I do all the time. I still do that today, but I got to get on this, y'all. Deuces.